Hi everyone and welcome, my name is David from the technical team. Today's video is focused on the Super Static 749 and Super Cal 739 heat meters uh, available from Sontex. Uh, should you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call in the office or leave us a comment in the box below. We'll start things off with the Super Static 749 meters. Uh, these are an MID Class 2 approved range of heat meters. Uh, they're available in smaller sizes of 15mm and 20mm uh, and there are three variable flow models. You've got the QP 0.6, uh, QP 1.5 which is available for both half inch and three quarter inch uh, and then there's the QP 2.5 three quarter inch model for larger flows. Um, these meters use the fluid oscillation principle that is already very popular with the super static meters from Sontex. Uh, this allows them to be used with glycol filled systems and calibrated accordingly which means that the MID accuracy is retained uh, and still makes them legible to be used for RHI installations. Uh, this meter range is a compact design uh, which is obviously part of the smaller sizes as well but based on this you actually get a temperature sensor mounted in the meter body. Uh, that's predominantly the return temperature sensor but of course if we can recalibrate the meters for the flow as required thereby means the temperature sensors will be swapped around but this design means that there is a much smaller installation cost for all the installers of this meter uh, as they don't need to mount a second socket for the return or alternative temperature sensor uh, these meters all utilize a battery power supply uh, this is either six years or available as a, a long life 12 year version depending on the communication outputs that you take We'll get onto the comms in just a moment. Uh, all of them have just the LCD display and a single button for navigating through the menus uh, so to see the different realms of data. This will always default back to the energy screen uh, as a standard. Uh, this meter is supplied as standard with the head mounted on the meter body itself. But as I've got here, we do also supply it with a bracket. Uh, which that can actually be used to mount the meter nearby to where the flow meter is or perhaps get a bit of visual read if the meter is mounted in a, a larger void or in some kind of vertical orientation uh, just to make life a little bit simpler. This can either be mounted against a DIN rail or screwed straight into a wall depending on your requirements that you need on site. Moving on to the 739 range, just to touch on that briefly. Uh, this is an alternative range, again compact styling, available in half inch and three quarter inch. Uh, three flow models, you've got the QP 1.5 again for both half inch and three quarter inch connections and then the larger flows you've got the QP 2.5. Uh, this instead of the fluid oscillation principle actually utilizes a mechanical turbine. So the accuracy of the meter is MID class 3. Uh, this means it's legible to be used for domestic RHI installations and of course that's probably where you would see the most use with it as with the smaller sizes that's most notorious for a domestic installation, maybe HIUs depending on the requirements on site. But other than that, the design of the two meters is virtually identical. You've got the same displays that are used, the same single button uh, navigation through the screens. Again, it can be mounted uh, away from the actual flow meter itself, uh, quite simply. And the temperature sensor is again mounted in the body to allow for a lower cost of installation as well. The meters are all supplied with a pair of unions as standard for the installation of the body of course and each meter is also supplied with a direct mount sensor adapter. This just means that your sensor that is not mounted in the meter body has a much larger connection that is standard with UK markets. So it's, this actually provides a half inch male BSP thread uh, or if you wanted to install the sensor on its own again that is also fine. This is just an M10 male thread again uh, just on the actual neck of the meter. Uh, this can also be supplied as a plastic fitting, again just a small cost saving as part of the design of the meters, but brass is normally the standard just based on standard temperatures that are incurred. And all the o-ring seals are available as spares, but again supplied as standard with every single one of the meters. The communication outputs that these meters can utilize, again we've mentioned they have the standard uh, LCD display, so you can just take a direct reading off the meter. Uh, but they also come with pulsed outputs for communication to a BMS. Uh, MBUS is also available as part of a network. Uh, wireless capability is also available in the form of either the Supercom radio, which is a, a Sontex only branded wireless system, or these meters can actually be supplied with wireless MBUS, which is very new to the market, uh, but is becoming much more popular and much more sought after, uh, basically using the same MBUS frames, but in a wireless format to remove those uh, necessary installation costs of wires uh, and obviously uh, a much more automated system as well. So that's everything I've got for you today on the Suntex heat meters. Please stay subscribed for all future content from DMS and we'll see you in the next one.